Hi, this is Dr. Michael Kaplan and background is Ray when our nurse. We're going to demonstrate on how to get rid of the hiccups. So we'll wait for me to do a couple of hiccups and then well, oh good, there's a hiccup. And then we'll do a demonstration in just a couple of minutes. It's important to know I've had these hiccups now for about the last half hour. See if I get it. Oh good, there's another hiccup. Okay, here we go. Now Ray when when I say okay, you squeeze in my ears as hard as you possibly can, right on the tympanic membrane, it's pressure. Okay, put your hand on my ears. Let's see, more like that, right on the air, air itself. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, let go, let go. Unfortunately, I had too big of a cup, and now it looks like I urinated in my pants. Would you pass me a tissue? Let's see if the hiccups are gone. <clears throat> Usually use a regular size glass. Hiccups seem gone, what do you think, Raywin? I will wait just another maybe 30 seconds. Another 30 seconds, and I didn't spill too much water. They're gone. Mm, looks like it. Looks like it. So wait another 30 seconds? Yep. Okay. So what we demonstrated was a problem that people have all around the world, how to get rid of the hiccups. And as you know, it almost never works. I've been doing this technique for um, probably five years and it's never failed. And it didn't fail again. No, no it looks like it. Good resolution. Good resolution. Thank you very much, Raywin. Okay, Michael. Now, do you want to know how I think this works? Yes. I'll just grab it to you. I don't know exactly, but there may be people that will write in and tell us. But I think the way it works is when I'm drinking constantly, I'm really um, overstimulating probably the glossopharyngeal nerve. It's over here. The glossopharyngeal nerve as well as the vagus nerve. And then you, by pushing on the tympanic membranes, is getting, <coughs> excuse me, the seventh cranial nerve, and I think the glossopharyngeal nerve doesn't go through there. So I overstimulate these nerves, and the um, spasmodic kind of rhythmic approach causing the diaphragm to have the hiccups goes away. They're gone. I've had them for a half an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much, Raywin. You're welcome, Michael. Okay. Hi, Ron. Um, I appreciate you doing this YouTube video for me today. Is it okay that we use this? Absolutely, yes. So earlier today you weren't around about 8 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning till 8 I had hiccups. Mm -hmm. And then we did a procedure. And then when interviewing um, a patient together, you and I, my hiccups returned. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we did was a procedure where you pushed on my ears yes, and I drank water. Correct. And I was hiccuping continuously for a little while there. What, what did you notice after you pushed on my ears and I finished that glass of water? Well, primarily blocking off your eardrums while you drank, and then you just stopped. The hiccups just stopped. There were no more after that. Yeah. And prior to that, you were hiccuping quite a lot. Yeah, and um, usually it doesn't come back in the day, but this time it did. But it worked again a second time. It did, yes. Part of this last video, we're going to do a uh, interview. I'm going to introduce you to a famous neuroscientist from San Diego, who I've been speaking to the last 20 minutes and she's going to tell you whether or not I've had hiccups. Um, so can you please introduce you and tell the audience about your experience with our last 20-minute conversation? Um, my name is Valda Levram, and uh, I'm a neuroscientist from UCSD. And I was speaking to past uh, 20 minutes, and he was hiccuping all the time. Then we had a, a brief intermission of about five minutes and he came back on the phone and he doesn't hiccup anymore. Well, there you go. So there is now a live testimony that indeed this wasn't a transient effect. Thank you very much and um, I hope you don't mind that I use your voice in the YouTube video. I'm fine with it. Okay, great. Thank you very much.